Those black and yellow bugs that can be a stinging nuisance now have a nuisance of their own. Oklahoma beekeepers say they are fighting to stay ahead of the battle, but find themselves getting stung. Joining me now with more is our Andy Barth. That's right, Courtney. The honeybee industry in the United States is suffering from mite and pesticide damage that is causing some producers to lose up to 90% of their hives. We traveled to Kiowa, Oklahoma to see just how bad the damage is. It's not uncommon to see them buzzing around our gardens, but the plight of the honeybee may soon change that. And the Oklahoma beekeeper may be in for a sting. Most beekeepers don't like the word aggressive when it comes to their bees, they use the word defensive. Keith Amison is a beekeeper in Oklahoma and the president of the Oklahoma State Beekeepers Association and says there is more than one reason for hive loss. Several things, it's more or less a perfect storm of several ailments is, what is uh, pesticides being one of them. The pesticide deal really hurts us. Pesticides that are real bad is any powder form of pesticide that sticks to the bees' little hairs and they carry it back to the hive. Uh, the sprays usually will kill the bees in the field and if they don't carry it back to their hive. You'll lose bees that are out on, when the deal's sprayed, but they don't carry it back to the colony which makes a big difference. Another issue facing the honeybee industry is something that pesticides can actually fix, mite infestation. But what kills the mites kills the bees. They're a little tiny thing. You can see them on a bee, but you don't, unless you're looking for them, you don't see them. And uh, you'd come to a hive that's been doing well and all of a sudden it goes into decline. And once a hive gets weak, from the mites, then the moths move in and they'll finish off the hive. They'll uh, tear up the comb and that sort of thing. And, uh, and the old beekeepers back in the 80s thought it was the moths actually killing the hives until they discovered it really wasn't. It was a type of mite that was weakening them. And these tiny critters have a massive effect on Before honey production. The, the mites cause a drastic reduction in honey production. They, they keep the hives weak enough to for what they're doing is just trying to survive and it'll cut the honey production just nearly to zero at times. And scientists say the decline in hive population will impact the price of food, an impact that could affect the entirety of agriculture. Well, the importance of bees in this state as well as in the nation is that bees affect about every third bite that we put in our mouth of food. So um, very important in terms of our our overall uh, consumption of food. Entomologist Phil Mulder. From the standpoint of Oklahoma, probably the major crop that we would be concerned about from a bee pollination standpoint would be alfalfa. And we have uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 350 to 450,000 acres of alfalfa across the state. And alfalfa is a, an important forage crop, a very important forage crop uh, for Oklahoma. It's the queen of forages and it produces um, a lot of, uh, of hay that goes into animal production that's consumed by animals um, and it also helps to maintain soil um, and the bees love it as a pollination and nectar source. And it's not just animals. Humans may also feel the sting at their grocery store checkout counter. Bees are a very important source of the consumables that we, that we love to eat you know, fruits, vegetables, things that are good for us. And the bottom line in terms of an economic impact, um, as bees become perhaps less common and pollination becomes more of a problem, the price of food increases dramatically. So if it doesn't hit you in what you like to eat, it'll hit you in your bottom line, which is economics. The long yellow one? Yeah. That is the mama of every bee in the box. So while bees may not be the most popular bug around, they sure have beekeepers buzzing to keep them safe. Now, one local beekeeper lost all but 2,000 of his 13,000 hives, 
Each hive is worth about $250, which adds up to more than $2 million in beehives. So Andy, what will this do to the honey prices? Well, Courtney, input costs are continuing to rise and supply is continuing to fall, so we can expect the honey prices to rise significantly. All right, and what can beekeepers do if they suspect mite or pesticide damage? Well, the Oklahoma State Beekeepers Association website is great for information, and we have a link to that site at okhorizon.com. All right, thank you, Andy.